Evening guys, welcome back to The What Life. We are doing Race Watopia. This is Watopia flat route. So there is a small amount of incline in it, but it's pretty flat and it's two loops. 18 or sorry, but yeah, 21K, which is 13 miles. Very small lead in, which I'm always really happy about. I hate long leads in, lead ins. Elevation for the route is 122 meters or 400 feet over the course of the whole ride. 67, so 70 odd riders. Pretty happy with this one, guys. I've had a week off the bike. I've been away in Wales running. So I've been doing about 16 to 20K for the last five days running around Wales, which has been great. So I haven't actually been on the bike since last Monday. So this was a bit of a shock to the system. So this, as I said, is Race Watopia, which counts towards the Tour of Watopia, so double XP, and reasonably good numbers. 67, this is a 5 p.m. UK time race. So it's about as kind of popular as you get in the, in the week. Uh, numbers have been bigger, but I'm getting, I feel like I am getting closer, guys. I'm going to say it right now. I feel like I'm getting closer. I feel like I'm able to hold the group for a little bit longer. Um, these flat courses play a little bit more to my strength uh, at the moment to my strength, which is, you know, doing everything I can to hold the group. The inclines are the things that kind of break me and, and kind of cause me to drop off. But um, some stats for the ride for you. I held, what is it? 3.6 watts per kg for the 29 minutes and 25 seconds that it took me to finish the course, which is 275 watts normalized to 280. And yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy. Like, I mean, overall, it's kind of like it's everything's kind of pointing in the right direction. I'll say that the start on this race wasn't actually massively hardcore. I don't know whether I'm saying that because I feel like I'm getting better and improving or because maybe it just wasn't as strong as some other starts. This was a fun race and the reason it was fun is because there were a few people as you can see there just like riding off the front and <clears throat> like attacking the group. And I, it, I, that is fun guys. I love it. I love it when people do it as much as I hate it because obviously it means that I have to work a bit harder in the pack to try and stay on. I always find it interesting. Do you know what I mean? Like we're two minutes into a, into a ride and a solo cyclist rides off the front. And you've got 67 people or 66 people behind him cycling. You should, if you are smart, just leave that one person. <laughs> Unless you are looking to make a breakaway with a group. So this was my... So I basically decided that, like, if you see me here, I don't do anything. I'm like, this group is a big group. We've just started the race. And it's like ones and twos up the front. We're going to catch that group by the end of a, you know, 20K ride one way or another. You'd have to be a very strong two to four person group. But that's not the way everyone thinks and a few other people kind of ride on. But the, the, the thing that I did do is that you'll notice that I don't chase this one. I don't kind of like try and kick on and like stomp on the pedals a bit to try and catch that little group ahead. And I think that might be a little sign that I'm, I'm kind of maturing slightly. It might be a little sign that I've probably been Zwifting too much. And, it, you know, maybe it's just a sign that I'm kind of getting a bit more of an understanding of how these races work. If this was the back end of a race, it'd be completely different. I think, you know, that group that's breaking away there at the back end of the race would be dangerous. But this group now, even though that looks like there's kind of eight to ten cyclists maybe up there, we've got 60-odd people back here who are just going to slowly bring them back in. And that's exactly what happened. So I didn't panic. So that was quite nice. That was that was like a little indicator. I think those are the moments that mean that your average watts per kg for a ride don't aren't, aren't as high. So I always kind of look at that and I think, how is someone, you know, riding hard and, and race and positioning well at the end of a race without having like the highest watts per kg? And sometimes it's just because they ride, they ride smart and they sit in the pack and they don't feel like they need to chase every single attack and that's like a really well i thought that was a really good example i don't know what you guys think um so i'm super close to making it guys i'm so close to finishing a race in the front group and i can feel it coming um struggled a little bit with with tired legs but i don't you know i just don't see that as being a huge excuse 
what I will say is is that I think the lack of sleep over the last week because we, we've been out shooting and, and running. So I, my heart rate actually doesn't really get that high. I don't think I get too much over like 166. So, <clears throat> you know, I feel like there was more to give or I do have more to give. It just doesn't come out in this instance. But the nice thing about this race obviously being flat is that it kind of gives me half a chance to work on some of my Zwift skills. And, you know, the one thing I do love is people dropping comments and, and kind of saying uh, advice. I take all the advice on. I've got, I get emails. I get I get messages on, on Instagram. I love it all. Like, I love chatting about it. And I am really kind of working. I'm, put, I'm putting a video out tomorrow where... You will see, because obviously, obviously I've recorded all my FTP tests. So you'll see my first FTP test and you'll see things like my heart rate and my cadence. And then I've obviously got my second and my third one as my FTP is, has, has increased. And you can literally, it was so, it like, it's been quite an interesting one to put together. Because you can see the difference in cadence and, and heart rate relative to my performance as I've like improved as a cyclist. And I thought that was really cool. So, you know, for instance, like what was my cadence on my f first ever FTP test whilst I'm trying to put out 320 watts compared to my cadence on my third FTP test when I'm putting out 320 watts and, and same with heart rate. It was quite interesting to, to have a look at, <clears throat> but I'll drop that out tomorrow. But anyway, this this ride, this is kind of one of the more pivotal points, these little inclines where um, I felt pretty comfortable holding the group. I didn't panic. Um, I was just kind of happy. You know, positioning was was very key. I know a lot of people say, or you know, one of the things that people do dive in the comments and first and foremost uh, tell me is to kind of make sure that my positioning is like a little bit further up. But sometimes that's just because I don't have either the leg strength or the <laughs> aerobic capacity to work harder. So sometimes I'm just at the mercy of doing what I can. Um, but what I have tried to do, guys, is when I get myself back into the pack, and this is a great example there, is I don't stop cycling as soon as I get to the back wheel of the group. I try and just kind of move up a little bit. So try and hold my uh, wattage for another like five seconds, 10 seconds, whatever it is. So that I don't just kind of make the back wheel of the group and then sit there. But I kind of move through the group a little bit. Um, and that's been like, a, that's like a really good little tip for anyone that's kind of joining these BCAT races. You know, don't, don't set your goal when the group starts moving off and then comes back together. Don't set your goal to reposition at the very back of the group. Your goal should be to reposition in the middle of the group. Um, and then obviously there's, you know, sticky drafts and the fact that it's a big group. You kind of get pushed and pulled along. Uh, that's the way I see it anyway. And I, and I think that's kind of what a lot of people have been diving in and, and kind of commenting like that kind of positioning. Don't you don't want to sit back wheel. You kind of just want to move through the group and find your position in the middle. But this was... Um, the hard thing about this race was just uh, a few people taking the opportunity to attack and kind of push the group forward. And then I just have to basically do everything I can to hold on to that. But overall, like I, you know, give it a couple more weeks. And if I get like a rogue race, I do like to only really ride, you know, the races that tend to get bigger groups, which tends to make them a little bit faster. But I'm sure I'm going to end up in a Cat B race where, you know, it, it suits my style, it suits my ability, and I am going to finish in, in the front group. That's my goal in the next maybe two to three weeks. That, that like If I can do that, I'll be super happy. This is the last little climb of the loop, and you can see how it breaks the group up, and I have to work quite hard here. And you'll notice that even though I'm working quite hard and we've just done a little climb, my heart rate actually doesn't get, you know, that high. So I... I was slightly kind of looking at it and a little bit concerned. Um, for anyone that is, you know, trigger warning, guys, anyone that gets triggered by my inability to use a power up at the right time, for God's sakes, don't watch my last lap. <laughs> because once again, like, I don't know what it is. Like, this is the one thing in, in the Swift world where I'm just like, I focus so much on just trying to hold the group and keep working. that I just completely forget sometimes to use my power up as the group starts moving away from me. And I just like, every time I do it, and I think you'll, you'll probably end up hearing me shouting at myself after the group has moved away and I've kind of, I've kind of lost the will to live and stop cycling. I'm like, damn it, I should have used my power up because I realized that I had one, had an aero draft, I think. 
um, which could, you know, people people write in the comments, always appreciate it. You know, if you can use basically a power up, what is effectively for me, like defensively, <laughs> I'm using a power up to stay with the group rather than to attack off a group. So, you know, I got to be more, way more aware of that because I don't know whether it could have kept me on the group, um, especially because I make it to like maybe the last like mile and a half or t just under two miles towards from the finish line so that's when the you know the pace starts hotting up so I, I imagine I would have I would have fallen off at some point but it might have kept me on for a little bit so we're skipping through the most a uh, little bit of of the the laps because we don't need to watch anything I do love it when people check on me during a race <laughs> um and uh o.o dot o. I, I did try and find out your uh, name but I couldn't find it on Swift Power or, or Strava I couldn't find you to link through Strava um but Checking on me is always good fun, guys, and I do appreciate it. The only problem was, <laughs> um, and guys, correct me if I'm wrong or you think otherwise, but when people dive in the chat and they're like, Max, you're still here, <laughs> and it happens every now and again. And that's not me being like big headed or anything. I think people just kind of enjoy the journey and, they've, and it's, I do appreciate it. And I write, I, so I write, yeah, like I'm, I'm still here, like <laughs> just, just about in the group. Um, and then we get a little bit of chat going and, and someone's talks about um you know the best the best defense is an offense and you should just uh you know i'm there's me just saying like i'm just trying to survive the attacks and then someone goes the best defense is an offense i think people other people are obviously cycling and not everyone has the chat up but they can still see it on their screen and i think they take that as an opportunity to attack <laughs> So you can see us kind of like having a little like chit chat, chin wag. Um, I'm not having a chin wag. I'm like, I'm cycling my, my ass off trying to stay in the group. But then a few guys maybe just take that as an opportunity <laughs> to push the pace. And you can just see that there's this sneaky little attack that comes in whilst um, we're talking about, you know, maybe, maybe people are a little bit offended that I'm still in the group. <laughs> and they're like, well, we can do something about that. We'll change that. Someone's like, Max, are you still here? I'm like, yeah. And then everyone's like, well, we can, <laughs> we can change that. And that's basically what I felt like happened is a little bit of chit chat. And then the group just kind of kicks on forward. But um, lo and behold, I do manage to survive this one. And uh, these are the little moments that kind of, to me, just like indicate that I feel like I am getting that little bit better. Uh, you don't have to stick around and, and check out my power curve at the end. But again, you know, we, we're always, you know, one or two watts within kind of my power curve PB. And there are a few, I think like maybe 12 minutes on this race. My 12 minute power curve is, is a PB like by, by um, a few watts, which I think is obviously, you know, that's good to see. So once again, like, yeah, we're, we're, we're happy. The things that I'm working on at the moment is I, I did like a week and a half of structured training. The next three weeks are going to be like really structured workouts, uh, focusing on things like building my leg strength. And the thing that I really need to work on, because obviously if you have watched a Swift FT, you know, one of my FTP videos, you know, the Swift ramp test comes out, I, I would imagine at, a somewhat exaggerated FTP, not FTP number, but like, I don't think I could hold what Zwift puts my FTP number as for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, definitely not 40 minutes or definitely 30, I couldn't even hold it for 20. So I think it does kind of like hyper exaggerate it. So what I'm gonna try and do is work on basically that tempo performance, which is getting my watts up and just trying to hold it for a longer period of time because I'm capable of doing it. I feel like, you know, my, my Zwift, last Zwift, Zwift ramp test came out at 311, right? So I'm capable of riding at 311. Just at the moment, I just don't think it's for that long. <laughs> and so over the next three, four weeks, I'm not looking to improve my, my FTP. Like I'm not looking, I, I guess by virtue of, of training, it might happen. But my goal is to actually be able to sustain that kind of like 305 to 310 watts for a longer period of time. I hope that makes sense. And I hope I'm, I hope, I hope I'm talking sense. I hope this makes like, I hope this is a smart thing to, to do. And I'm not just like kind of full heartedly trying to do something because yeah, my, my goal is like at the moment, it isn't to like kind of, I don't Am I making sense? My goal is not to like try and get my FTP as high as possible because I understand that 
that c c in some senses can just be power. Like if I can keep working on power, then I, I think my Swift FTP would go up. But I also need to manage my threshold efforts to be able to sustain a certain wattage for a period of time. And that's what I feel like I'm struggling with at the moment. Well, not struggling, but I feel like that's what my focus is going to be. And I hope that makes sense. Um, and if, if, you do, if that doesn't make sense or I'm doing something wrong, then please, please do let me know. Anyway, it's about game time in the race. And this is the last like little climb and I'm well positioned for it. I just like I didn't have the legs uh, at the top. But again, like I can imagine like you guys, you're probably screaming at me to just like power up, power up, power up. You should power up, Max. You should power up. Everyone else, like a few other people are doing it. And um, yeah, my heart, but the thing that worries me is my heart, well, not worries me, but my heart rate doesn't really go that high, 163 um, as the group moves away. I'm not sure I could, have, you know, a power up would have helped me too much. Anyway, this is a little bit of bonus content for you, which is max sprinting. And I'm pretty happy <laughs> again. Um, me and uh, anonymous uh, Swift Rider um, go a little bit head to head in a sprint. And um, although he doesn't have a power up and I do, because obviously I didn't use it on the climb when I should have, it does enable me to uh, kick against the line. And this was nice because um, I did appreciate the competition. Yes. Anyway, guys, look, that's it. That's the wrap on tonight's vid and the race. I'm actually going to do this race again tomorrow night, which will be Tuesday. So I'm going to give it another crack of the whip in the bees and see whether we can hold on for a little bit longer. But you, know, you can kind of see that like my back end power curve, that 20 minutes, I'm not quite there. Like you can see that I'm not quite there, but 10 minutes I do um, kind of get a little PR. So guys, I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for dropping by.